Voting is underway in South Korea to elect the country's next National Assembly. Around 44 million people are eligible to cast their ballot, and observers say the election can be seen as a half-term assessment of President Yoon suk yeols administration. And this as the leader endures low approval ratings amid an acronymous uh, doctor's strike, rising food prices and allegations of corruption. Well, for more on this, we're now joined by Kim byung Ju, affiliate professor of international studies at Hankook University of Foreign Studies, joining us live from Seoul. Professor, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Well, opinion polls indicate a highly competitive race and these elections traditionally serve as a barometer of public satisfaction of the president's performance, especially halfway through their single five-year term. How do you think this barometer fares for President Yoon? Well, uh, we'll have to wait and see. You know, the, the results, we're still waiting. There are different kinds of scenarios here, but it is correct to point out that actually this, uh, the both parties, the, the, the ruling party that that belongs to the president and the uh, the opposition party that has been controlling the legislature. Both parties have made an argument that this is a referendum about about the other side. So, opposition party that's controlling the legislature, they're saying this is strongly, firmly referendum about President Yoon and his government. And the uh, President Yoon's party, uh, what we call the ruling party here, uh, People Power Party, they're saying this is a referendum about the opposition party's leader and some of their key figures there. So rather than talking about the policies, uh, we have important you know, policy issues here in this country, but rather than talking about those policies, this has been indeed, as you pointed out, uh, largely uh, being a referendum about the other side. And people are making half joke saying that we are voting, we are trying to decide uh, which side between the two we dislike less and we'll vote for the party that we dislike less. Seems more like a fight between the parties, as you mentioned out. But again, you also spoke about important policies that are there. And critics have really dismissed Mr. Yoon's stopgap economic relief measures as populist and unrealistic. How much of an impact do you think these will have on his performance and perhaps even expectations as well? Well, uh, calling President Yoon's policy stopgap and uh, populist, uh, those are the rhetorics that's coming from the opposition side. And there are certain ideas that he has uh, raised uh, during the campaign and before the campaign. But the thing is, in terms of actual policies that have been introduced for the last about two years or so, it will be difficult to call his policies as a stopgap and, and populist. It's a kind of traditional policy measures they would expect from a conservative government side. And so... Uh, it's not like uh, he's not paying attention to uh, budget balance and, and everything. He's indeed very conservative. And, you know, one example is uh, reduction of Korea's R&D spending on, you know, uh, to be supplied by the government budget. That was the first time in several decades. And that's a measure to in order to achieve better integrity and balance in the budget and so on. So, indeed, uh, his policy has been largely traditionally traditional uh, conservative side. But, however... The opposition side have raised a lot of different issues uh, about it. So in, in, uh, once again, this highlights the fact that this election has been largely uh, largely about political fights rather than having different kind of clearly uh, divided uh, policy options. Well, uh, I just want to bring our attention to the plan for more medical school spots that has been one that really brought the country's healthcare to a standstill. What do you think of the timing of the announcement? And perhaps even we can speak about the still unresolved situation. Do you think that this is a miscalculation for President Yoon and one that's really striking back at him at a very crucial point in time? I, I do agree with you. In, in my own personal opinion, uh, there is a strong evidence that uh, President Yoon and his government wanted to use this issue to show to the people that they're able to resolve this issue, a very important one, for the first time in their their claim uh, in in nearly three decades. Uh, you know, here they claim that you know government had to give in to doctors for three decades, and now they're going to uh, show the result. But the thing is, it backfired, and doctors did not come along, and they didn't want to make a make a negotiation, make a deal with the union government. So the timing wise. Uh, there was a risk taking on the side of the government trying to show the result before the election, but it is not coming. And so as a result of it, it has resulted in becoming some kind of political liability 
for the president and the government showing their inability indeed uh, of resolving difficult issues. So it went the other way. Well, Professor, then this brings us to the next question. You see, um, youth are extremely unhappy with the, with uh, President Yoon and, and this medical school issue that's going around. And this election is particularly unique demographically. It's the first time in the country's history where voters aged 60 and older outnumber those in, this, in their 20s and 30s. So do you think then President Yoon still not backing out or, or even trying to find a middle ground in this issue has any you know, impact or negligence because the voter count in terms of the youth is way lesser than the elderly. The thing is, uh, the numbers show, survey results show, and I do also acknowledge um, almost close to 90% of the Koreans actually support President Yoon and the government position in this issue with the medical doctors. They do see me Korean medical doctors as a kind of a, a what president called cartels and the special interest group that has, uh, you know, controlled the supply of the doctors as in order to see their wage rise twice or three times higher than OECD average and, and actually best paid among the OECD countries here. So the there is a public, absolute public support behind resolving this issue. The way it has been dealt with is what's creating unhappiness in the minds of uh, public. Uh, public wanted the uh, president and the government to be more flexible and more, more uh, shrewd in terms of dealing with doctors, but they have shown really kind of rigid stance and then uh, no, um, you know, no stepping down, back or no flexibility at all. And so not finding any kind of outcome at all before the election, that process of it and handling of it is causing uh, such an unhappiness uh, in the minds of the public. And with the age issue, you, you point out that there, there will be a large portion of, uh, um, you know, old voters here in Korea. Yes, indeed. And it's a plus and minus because still, I would say those uh, voters in their 50s, they're coming from the democratization generation who tend to be, relatively speaking, quite very uh, considerably progressive. So aging voters don't guarantee that you will have conservative voters. So there is a trick right there. And then also the other side of the spectrum, uh, younger voters, fewer of them, but still, uh, you know, in comparison with voters in their 40s and 30s, 20, uh, those voters in their 20s uh, age group, they tend to be considerably conservative. So we have conservative groups at, at, at both end of this spectrum, while the, the middle group, 30s, 40s, and 50s tend to be progressive. So it's uh, hard to generalize or predict an outcome uh, of this changing dynamics. Well, we have one last question before we let you go. What happens if President Yoon sung yeol faces defeat? Will he still be able to redeem himself and pursue his agenda? Well, uh, different scenarios on that side, the de defeat side. Uh, if he loses big and the opposition side takes up about two-thirds of the seats together, combined, a Democratic Party together with other progressive parties. Uh, these, some of the radicals on that side have been talking about impeachment of the president and also a, co a constitutional amendment. Um, and we, we're not sure how realistic that is, but it is uh, theoretically possible. So that's a big loss for Yoon will create theoretically serious instability for his government. And then, uh, you know, a smaller win on the opposition side, uh, kind of preserving largely what we see uh, today the current legislature being controlled by the opposition side will continue to see the Yoon government not being able to push through the, uh, their major policy agendas, making them into the laws. So the difficulties that they have had for the last two years uh, will continue on. So that's a mild, uh, you know, milder uh, scenario together with that radical scenario that I uh, gave you earlier. Well, thank you very much for all these elaborate answers that you've given us so far. Kim Byung-Joo, Affiliate Professor of International Studies, Hankook University of Foreign Studies. He's also Managing Director of Power Group Asia.